Hello, dear viewer, and welcome back to Nexomon on iOS with me, Jelenon. Today, we're hopefully going to find Fenrir's fate. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Anyway, it turns out, uh, it looks like I deleted my old videos in my iMovie library, so I have not had time to go back to YouTube and check out the stats of Normal versus Rebirth. However, not too worried about it. We're leveling up. All we need to know, really, is that our stats are better than they should be, which, you know, awesome. Wait, did Kitsunox just get... Hmm, or is it still Volpep? Still Volpep, but, huh, definitely more stamina. Cool, Vitam has the most at the moment, which makes sense. Fully evolved and all that. Let's see what else we can find out. Joke. Okay, we haven't technically caught this guy yet, so might as well try, right? But yeah, I also received a question about the EXP multiplier versus the EXP share. Uh, I did try to answer that comment, but I'm clicking the wrong buttons because I'm talking. Okay, but basically, as far as I can tell, the EXP multiplier gives everybody in your team the same amount of XP from defeating something. And the EXP share, I believe, only gives a portion of it to everybody. I'm not certain of that fact. I couldn't find any super good resources online about it. It looked like you know, all the videos on it were from before the update to EXP share and EXP multiplier. So, yeah. All I know is I like the EXP multiplier. I got from like level 50s into the 70s for the Omnicron battle and about an hour of grinding and training. And I mean, I got, what was it, I think Volpep from like 20 to 53 or something in the same amount of time. So yeah, I really like it. And it's super useful for this rebirth in the netherworld. So that's my opinion on that. If you're gonna get it, might as well get it. Definitely worth saving up all your diamonds for and the normal stuff. All right, you jock. Or Nutchuck, or however you pronounce your name. Something like that, I'm sure. We may now be overleveled, but hey, that's not a bad thing. Harchon. Let's use the wave. Okay, Harchon did not survive that. That's all right. One day we will find you again. And perhaps not immediately take you out. With a wave! We're just trying to say hello. Apparently, we're too powerful with our hellos and goodbyes. Sadness. Okay. But yeah, if you are instead going to try to use your diamonds, or crystals or gems, I forget the true name of them at the moment. Too many games I'm playing. <laughs> but basically, um, yeah, I recommend that if you are trying to use them to get Nexomon, Catch as many Nexomon as you can that are common and uncommon, so then they won't show up in the selection wheel. Because I believe they will give you things that you don't have yet. It's kind of similar to how um, Dragon Island Blue and Micromon have worked in the past. And basically, I think that's why we got Ponerius originally from opening one of these boxes. Because we didn't have Ponerius, we had the evolution of Ponerius, and then finally we had Mistralium, so it didn't show up in the Nexo boxes. So yeah. Frankly though, I think the XP multiplier is by far more important because you can find most of Nexomon in the wild. So we should really try to catch the uh, legendaries. We should try it this time. I was just so focused on finishing the story and finding Justice. All right, but listen to all that leveling up. <gasps> Prochara, you're finally evolving. Or growing, or maturing. Because let's face it, I mean, evolution is technically a new species, by definition, whereas this seems more like you're just growing up. <laughs> they grow up so fast. Like instantaneously, but hey, you know. This means more food for the foreseeable future. Yay. We got Galveria again! Oh, happiness. 
Oh, and we're also going to get Kitsunox, I believe. The evolution parade continues! Now, if we click cancel, we'll just get... Okay, let's find out. Oh. No, I do not want to cancel it. So, you can cancel evolutions now. I don't know what the purpose of that is. Evolution Parade! Okay. Now we're back where we found Fenrir. I probably wanted to go north of that other site, but... You know what? We're still training. We're evolving. We're growing more knowledge. And wings and feathers and cool capes and things. So, yeah. Totally worth it. Alright. Let's see. I've also got the roller skates. And that's another diamond purchase that you can save up for. I had to get to another world to save up for that, but hey, worked out. So let's see, we'll go up this way. I also finally made the time to print out the type chart for Nexamon, so now that my brain is more focused on talking than analyzing things, yeah, I can just look at the chart. You cannot contain me, you wretched warden. Your petty world is falling apart. Nothing will remain of it but fire and ashes. Oh, Fona. You are without power now. What can you hope to achieve against me? I'm not sure. How did you figure it out? But to challenge me was a grave mistake. Somehow, you revolted the people of this nightmare against me. Which means that I will have to remake this world. This isn't good. If the warden rebuilds this place, we'll be imprisoned as well. What? Nobody told me that! Do something! Do something! Oh dear. Oh, we just bum rushed him. What? You. You are that kid. The one who fights to release our prisoners. But why? Why do you fight to free this demon? Be gone. Be gone! Yep. Warden of the Flame. Dude. Thing. Guy. Girl. Mask person. Ogoon. Wait. Okay, there's no next out trap option. So there goes that plan. Hmm. Hydrosphere. There we go. Alright, beat him. You got this. Just use the Hydrosphere constantly. Keep hydrated. Though overhydration may be an issue. i have been finding with athletes that uh, that is a thing. You don't want to drink more than when you're thirsty. Just drink when you're thirsty. If you're not thirsty, don't drink. Turns out that's true. According to uh, Admiral is everything. On college, Unit. not all of those are family friendly, mind you. So be careful if you're going to watch those. But they do have some fun info, and he does seem to address it if they get some info wrong. So that's nice. Okay. Ooh, he has explosion. Oh goon! You are such a big goon. I'm going to take you down. And I don't know. Get your world building powers to create the coolest video game. Oh wait, that happened with Pixikai, and look what happened. Malk came out of the video game, basically. And ruined the real world. Absurd mortals. Fona and his siblings deserve an eternity in this place. You are dooming yourselves. It is done. This place will soon crumble. We must find Fenrir before he escapes. But first... Nexomite, Nexomite... Gotta get it, and hold it tight. Okay, so Fenrir probably went that way, because this is a dead end. I think my deductive skills are indeed impressive, don't you? Alright, onward. Aha! Oh, no, Fenrir, why are you hurt? Ugh. I remember now. Well, well. So you did become a real warrior, didn't you? So no. You know I cannot let you roam free. I will send your soul back into the vortex. Do as you please, old man. You won. Humans won. You will do the same with my siblings, yes? That's right. We need to destroy the wardens who rule the castle. That is good. Hey, kid. Come here. You'll need this. The power of fire! This is my legacy. Don't waste it. 
With this power, you can extinguish the foul flames those wardens have created and other nightmares. Use it well. And good luck. Huh. 2,000 years of rivalry. Hey, about this vortex thing you mentioned. Can we visit it? What? You can't be serious. You said it's the birthplace of the Nexomon. Maybe we can capture rare creatures there. Oh, Bryce, you're so, so cool. There's no safe way to go there and return alive. So no, you can't go. Not even Miriam has the power to teleport humans there. We must go now. Our battle against the Wardens is not over yet. But Olzar, you can teleport us there. Come on, let's break the game, man. Mana gaming! Bryce is the best. Well, hashtag Phantom Bryce, hashtag Vortex Bryce. Nightmare Bryce? Bryce is the best? That one. Somebody make a Twitter tag and let me know about it, I guess. <laughs> okay, so we got Phone of the Fire. Apparently we can extinguish the flames. We already did Merida's. Can we go back? What happens if we go back? Am I just wasting time? I am just wasting time, but we can heal. So that's fast. Yay! Okay. So that's nice. You can just kind of do a quick nip in there. Get healed. Move on with life. So let's save before we face down Grunda. So the real question is, if we didn't do Fenrir first, would we have to come back and finish Grunda? If there's some fiery things that we have to extinguish? Or does it not matter which one you do first and they just switch it around? Hmm. Oh, program. Hmm. Oh, this is totally Grunda's human form. And who might you be? The that's... That's Grunda! Grunda? I am Ulrich, protector of this village. Did he just say protector? You are not from around here. Please, make yourself at home. And be useful. And help with the village stuff. What are you protecting this place from? What else? The wicked tyrant Remus, of course. What? No way. I see you can take care of yourselves, so I won't stop you from leaving this camp. But beware of that foul man. He seeks only to torment our people. I'm not sure what's going on, but we need to find the warden of this nightmare. Fighting Grunda here would be reckless. Let's look around. Well, supposedly he was the most powerful, and we story mode beat him because he wasn't fully prepared. Can we talk again? Hmm. So Remus Lupin will attack us. Did don't leave the camp. Master Ulrich might not be able to protect you out there. Hmm. So it appears the Warden has made Ulrich a protector of the people in order to prevent him from leaving. That's actually pretty smart. Hmm. Let's see. We can get potions. Oceans of potions. Hmm. We may need more ethers. Um, you know what? Yeah. Clicking the wrong button is always a good idea, right? That way you, you buy the things you don't want and you leave when you're trying to buy things. It's good times. Okay. Let's buy six of these. Um, I think we're okay on stuff, so let's get some more Nexo traps. We can get the reborn versions of Nexomon. So really, this is the best time to buy Nexo traps. And then we'll just get some more Max Revives, because why not? And some more elixirs. Yoink. Elixir, why won't you let me purchase you? Oh, I don't have any money. Okay. Yep. That's a good reason. All right, then. Let us move on to find Remus. Remus Lupin, our dark arts teacher. With a wand in the pond and a dumb. I guess not. Ooh, Tyrek. We've already caught you. So, meet Hydrosphere. Wow, we're like seven levels above where we should be. <laughs> and it doesn't feel like we've battled too, too much, so... Once again, I highly recommend the EXP Multiplier, because it's wonderful. I mean, if we'd had this at the beginning of the game, we probably could have uh, just beaten up Omnicron the first time. But yeah, yeah. I decided to show off all my failures as well, just so people could get an idea of, you know, what kind of goes into beating Omnicron and the game. At least, the first part of the game. 
Let's see. Okay, we can try to catch Magpillar. Magpillar. Okay. So, if the Nexomon came from some sort of void, does that mean they're other dimensional beings or what? Hmm. Hmm. I remain unconvinced. Still, I should probably also turn down the background noise next time I record this. Hmm. So, okay. We caught Magpillar. But that would possibly explain why they don't follow physical rules like, oh, I don't know, needing a brain that doesn't catch fire? Hmm. Unless Magpillar is, like, silicon-based, then maybe fire wouldn't affect it? I'm honestly not sure. Well, we're gonna punch this guy. Okay, that happened. Alright. Now, the one problem with having the XP multiplier is when you outlevel all the people you're fighting, there is no easy way to really catch them, unless... We have really weak moves set up like kick. Okay, that wasn't as weak as I thought it was. Hmm. Well, and the guy had extra defense. So, huh. Is Kitsunox more of a boss than I thought? We've already caught Tafaka, the Taffy Alpaca. So therefore, we shall continue onwards. Okay. Now then. Let's see. I also forgot to double check. Yeah, Kitsunox has the same stamina amount. So it does look like it's evolution based. Nice. Ooh, item. Almost missed you. And you're an elixir. Even better. Okay then. What else is over here? A toxic Let's try wave, because you're not weak to it, so yes! Ineffective attacks, let us catch you! Okay, but first let's switch to X-Punk. To tank. Alright then. Regular Nexo Trap, go! I choose you, Toxifar. Alright. There we go! Got a Toxapore! I do like how the light kind of shifts around on the little, like, bubbles on the top of its head. Or pustules? Those are probably pustules. Yeah, don't look at pustules. It, it's gross. But, yeah, that's technically what acne is. Halt! Oh, it's Remus! So it is you, the intruder who seeks to release the wicked Grunda. I won't let anyone release that monster, ever! Be gone! Uh oh. It's Nightmare Remus, and his voice is really weird. Not a single step more, Tyrant Remus. I see you have new allies, Ulrich! I need no allies. Oh? We shall find out, you wicked beast! Step back, kid. That's good. Dragon Ball Z meets Nexomon. What is the matter, Remus? I am yet to break a sweat. Just what else can you expect from a monster? Go on, Auric, show me your full might. Ah! I could go on and on all day, Remus. I won't give up. I will somehow defeat you. see now this madman has made this place rather inhospitable for my people now go back to the camp I need to ensure that he hasn't hurt anyone else Th that was so awesome what are you waiting for we gotta follow him I mean that is technically your brother 
So, yeah. It's good to be able to admire your family sometimes. You know, see them in their element. Support them. And if they're doing Dragon Ball Z levels of awesome, then yeah. Why not enjoy that moment with them? Ooh, this is a new creature. Um, I bet that concussive blow would be too powerful. Therefore, Ponyorios, I need you. Oh, no, wait. You're also super effective. Oh. I'm already making mistakes, guys. And this type chart, totally helping. So, we want to send out lightning or fire. Let's send out Galvarian. You're probably not as powerful as x Punk yet. So, let's use Static Shock. Okay, we can get another Static Shock off. Static Shock. Also a good cartoon. Anyway, let's send out a Nexo Trap. Which, this one looks kind of like a Nexo Trap. Only, molier. Well, I guess I didn't like that comparison. Fair. Okay, it's like an excavation rat, excavat. That'd be my guess. But it looks more like a mole to me. Hmm. So another word for mole that seems to have an eight in it. Truly. Oh, I can do curiosity. Curiosity must lead us to an answer eventually. But for now, eh. we'll just question the world. And, life. and hey, we got it. Nice. So thank you for watching, dear viewer. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Nexomon and seeing Grunda be Ulrich, basically, and cool. And have a great day!